Well, there are more than a thousand cases of COVID-19 in Detroit, and now police chief James Craig is among them. He had symptoms and his test came back positive amid an outbreak that has claimed two members of his department. It has also put hundreds of officers on the sidelines. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper joins us now with more on how the chief is doing tonight. Rudy. The coronavirus gripping Detroit's police department. Hundreds of officers are in quarantine and that number growing by the hour as Chief James Craig adds his name to the list. Detroit's top cop, the latest victim on the force to test positive for the coronavirus. He spoke to Action News via telephone from his home. He says he initially thought his symptoms were related to seasonal allergies. Little cough, headache, which is typical for me. So I wasn't overly concerned. However, Chief James Craig says he went to a test site designated for first responders. His test result, a revelation. Uh, yeah, I would say it was a shot. I mean, although with the number of cases uh, coming out of the DPD, I mean, I knew that uh, this, this disease doesn't discriminate. Um, and so it doesn't matter what your rank, age, it just doesn't discriminate. As the department continues to come up with new mechanisms to minimize exposure, nearly 500 members on the force now in quarantine and 39 officers have tested positive. I myself am, am recently returning to work from being quarantined. The longest tenure assistant chief, James White, is now in charge. We've deployed a number of masks throughout our commands. The department uh, will continue to do that. First responders across the country are facing the same challenges. In New York, more than 200 NYPD officers have tested positive, and over 3,000 members on the force are sick, which is triple the normal sick rate. When it comes to police departments, we have to put just as much focus on preventing officers from infecting each other. I'm going to be there with them, just not physically, but um, I'll be there. The department is taking temperatures of officers before and after each shift. They say no officers are allowed to work sick. Outside DPD headquarters, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Rudy.